Mr. Chairman, is Senator Shaheen next? We've been using uh, the seniority because of the WebEx. If you uh, okay. Okay, thank you. I wanted to follow up on the chairman's comments. Uh, you covered several things, but I want to go back to the restaurant revitalization grant program. It's $28 billion, and restaurants across the United States have been really impacted. More than 2,300 have closed in my state since the pandemic. And, uh, you know, famous chefs like Tom Douglas, who's a James Beard award winning chef helped really make Seattle a destination with many restaurants. He's gone from 850 employees down to 65. As of March, only three of his 13 restaurants are still open. So obviously, we have Tom Tony Brown in Spokane, been featured on the Food Network. He went from 44 employees down to 11 employees, lost the majority of his revenue. So this is a story throughout the state of Washington, Mr. Rivera, and I wanted to get back to the basics of the application program. Since SBA is juggling a lot of different issues, I want to understand uh, the time frame here. I know you mentioned to the chair platform and making sure the right platform, but with the large volume of grant applications, in addition to the other grant applications that you're talking about for IDLE and the, um, the music venue, what additional personnel or technology or resources or responsibilities do we need to have to uh, get this program underway? What else does SBA need? Uh, Patrick, do you want to take this question or you want me to? Pick it up? Yeah, sure, James, I'll, I'll take this. Uh, Senator Cantwell, thank you for your question. Um, I think first off, um, the, the, the Congress should feel uh, really good about the statutory language that you've given us to authorize this program. So, for example, one of the limitations uh, for a program of this scale and size could have been uh, the requirement of using SAM.gov. But as you know, um, the statutory author authorizing language speaks to allowing us, giving the agency the discretion to seek unique identifiers that the industry uses. So in the case of restaurants, that would be EIN, Social Security, uh, ITIN numbers. Um, so that's that's an important um, aspect of it. Um, and that's really important because SAM.gov uh, services 657,000 roughly entities, um, and it's scheduled for maintenance in uh, April. And so having that latitude to to uh, design um, a unique instance um, with the industry sector, unique identifiers was a really important step. Uh, the second thing that I, I think the committee did, which is consistent with what uh, the Congress has done um, in this round of PPP that's important, is giving prioritization um, to women-owned, veteran, and social and uh, economically disadvantaged uh, restaurants with a priority period emphasizing uh, the smallest of the small businesses with the 500,000 in sales. From a technology perspective, one of the great things about um, what Mr. Shear spoke to and, and what uh, Mr. Ware spoke to uh, with respect to leveraging data analytics to know your customer, to identify individuals, to ad identify in, um, business owners, leveraging LexisNexis public records database, DNB databases, and so forth, gives us the ability to create um, a platform that's scalable, um, can offer a web application uh, for folks to apply, um, to leverage the SBA's network of affiliated entities, uh, such as our district offices, but also to architect an application program interface, which will allow for intermediaries um, similar to uh, the PPP program like point of sale vendors that restaurants use. Okay, I've, I've, I've heard enough, thank you. I thank you, I think, <laughs> listen, I, I understand the complexity here. I worked in software for five years, but what I I'm, I'm really wanna get down to is the brass tacks here. Are we talking weeks? Are we talking a month? Are we talking at the, you know, by April 15th? What, what, what are we talking? I think restaurants who've been hanging on, they need to know. They need to know yeah. when when they will be able to apply and when do you think you'll get the door the money out the door. So we're not tying you to a you know forever and ever, but it's just you know we think this long to get our application up and running. We think this long to get the money out the door. We're already hearing great stories from our constituents about oh my gosh, thank you for getting those checks. They've arrived. Thank you. It was a lifeline. So 
the restaurants, which we in previous bills hadn't been able to secure the kind of help and support. Now we have it, but we have to realize they've been in the queue for a long, long time. So they need to know this information. Are we talking about, you know, um, you know, by April 15th or what are we talking about? Yes. Yeah, so um, what we're trying to do is stand up the program as quickly as possible. And as you know, from technology projects, uh, things are hard and can slide to the right. But right now we're targeting um, beginning a phased um, launch in April, uh, provided um, uh, we can work with, it, with our partners at OMB um, to uh, scale uh, the platform um, in a way that create, allows us to leverage um, ecosystem partners like point of sale vendors, um, as well as allowing uh, folks to apply directly. And, so, then, um, and then just and when, when the money, how soon would the money then go out after that? My time is. Yeah, so so. The idea would be in the next seven to 10 days to start posting uh, information relevant to the applicants and to give guidance on application and supporting documentation, similar to what's being done. Uh, James uh, spoke to on shuttered venues uh, beginning this week. And then we would move to the prioritization pilot phase um, and then uh, to a broader open um, following that phase. Um, and so that would typically un un unfurl over 30 to 45 days um, where you would have um, the prioritization entities coming into the instance um, and dispersing funds and then opening it more broadly. Right. Mr. Chairman, I see my time has expired, but I, I'm just saying, okay, maybe after COVID we'll have this very elusive conversation about the government and how fast. And to me, some of our colleagues, both Republicans and Democrats, have made this point. Help states update their systems. It's not like software updating of states would be a bad idea after this experience, <laughs> because now we see we're gated. We're gated on everything that we want to do. And we need to figure out how to be more successful at getting these things set up quickly and out the door, uh, albeit, yes, making sure that the right people are applying. So anyway, I just, I would encourage you to sharpen the answer up about I, once the platform is established and the request is in what that turnaround time on a check is. Cause I think your answer was getting a little elongated. We're not trying to trick you. We're just trying to tell people who are holding on restaurants who are holding on or who've been trying to figure this out, what their time frame really looks like before they might actually see financial help. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I sort of want to underscore Senator Cantwell's point. For many restaurants and bars, this is, uh, they're holding on by a thread right now. And I know we've done, we've tried to help. We made it a little bit easier for them to qualify for PPP, and then we gave them a more generous second round of PPP. But uh, they're desperate. And I understand the priorities that Congress set that. We want to make sure that's done. And I also want to compliment the SBA because you've been keeping us informed as you are rolling out information. And, and that's Im critically important uh, that we are on the same page. So I hope that you would get back to Senator Cantwell and this committee as to a more definitive timeline on the restaurant rollout and uh, so that we can let our constituents know when they can expect uh, to get help. Mr. Well, Chairman, can we ensure that that information gets to all of the members yes. of the committee? Yes, when it gets to the committee, you'll get to all the members of our committee. Senator Ernst. 